Natasha, my childhood was fantastic. Um, I was writing some notes down this morning. It's too much to remember. But my father was John L. Cruz Sr. Uh, he was the superintendent of the schools from 1976 until 1983. And it's so funny, uh, him being in that role, if he made a bad call when it snowed and we had to go in and it was, you know, it was a snowy day, my sister and I would get pretty razzed about that. Um, but we, it was nothing, nothing serious, but um, that was fun. Uh, my sister's Kimberly. My mother's Brooksy. She's still living with me. I'm a second generation Aspertonian, and my mother's still with me at 93 years old, and she's in, God, Lord be willing, she's in very good health. Um, my mother's a librarian at Coppin for, she just retired after 34 years, and my sister is a principal at Harford Heights Elementary School. That being said, I missed the education bug, and I got a, a calling to go into banking and uh, finance. Right now, I'm a mortgage underwriter, and I work for a company in Huntington. Your neighbors, how was it growing up on Elmont, where you actually grew up? Well, I got to tell you, it was great. Um, there are neighbors who I actually looked as my, uh, f uh, what's the word, not fake, but um, I can't think of the right word, play, play aunts and uncles. And there were literally three on the block who I actually addressed as Aunt Blanche, Uncle George, Uncle Paul, and um, the, my parents, well, I, well, my father, you know, he, he liked to have a good time. He would be up and down the street, you know, visiting people when he wasn't busy working, you know, uh, for the school system. Uh, my, my, my mother, again, you know, a little more to herself. Uh, and I had a plethora of friends, um, like I said, you know, and they were different generations. So I've got probably five uh, good friends of mine that grew up either on Elmont, on Linchester, someone Denlin, uh, who were my age, we all went, most of us went to Poly together. Mm -hmm. And um, my sister had a good amount of friends too, but there was a lot of boys, you know, at the time. Like and I'm gonna tell you a funny story because my friends used to get on me about representing Ashford. When we were little, and we would go play basketball, maybe in a neighborhood that uh, wasn't so nice. I'm the first one to say, we're from Ashford. <laughs> and that wasn't necessarily a good thing to do. Um, because uh, it, it could cause us to get into a little bit of trouble. Uh, so Why I did, is that? Why is that? Why? Well, you know, that's something I've been thinking about, Tasha, and thank you for asking that. <laughs> Ashburn's always had this reputation of being uppity mm -hmm. or, 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 or snooty, for back of a better term. That is so far from the truth. It is a misnomer. Uh, we are so friendly here in Ashburn. I've never felt anybody, you know, being unnice to, to, to the crew family. I know my father had some enemies, but outside of that, things were good. Um, so I'm not sure, I don't know where people get that from, but I want to, when, in this particular medium, clarify that that is so far from the case. And like I said, have aunts and uncles, play aunts and uncles up and down the street. It was phenomenal. And they looked out for us. Back in those days, you say other people had the, the uh, permission to scold or, 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 or reprimand me if I didn't do something right. As a matter of fact, a great story right here on Denlin Road where we are, we had a group of kids who painted a skelly board. I don't know if you all know what a skelly board is, but I'm going to give it to you real quick. Mm -hmm. It's a board that has numbers in different corners. And you take tops, milk tops, and you put either tar in them or wax. And you shoot the tops around to different numbers, and you get a, a total score. Uh -huh. Well... Even though it wasn't on, on my street here on Denlin, those young men who spray painted or board on the street, they got in huge trouble. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it was corporal trouble back, it was a little different time back then in the 70s. Um, but that's just another part of so much fun I had. When I think, like I said, I left at 18, I didn't come back in 20 years. Mm -hmm. Was supposed to come back and help my dad develop real estate. He had just retired, he had a little chunk of change. Mm -hmm. And I left and got down to Silver Spring and was like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in rare Friday at that. You know, um, but uh, yeah, just getting back to the, the childhood, Tosh, I can't impress upon you how much fun I had. Oh, I know another thing we used to do. I can share it now because it's probably a statute of limitations. We've got some beautiful alleys here. Uh -huh. Our houses have alleys, and we used to ride through the alleys. Up and we had Dead Man's Alley, Superman Alley, Snake Alley, all four alleys going up to Denison. Uh -huh. And we had so much fun riding our bikes, they had curves. Mm -hmm. If you didn't negotiate that curve, you'd tumble over, you'd be in somebody's yard. And it happened quite a bit, because we thought we were, you know, uh, supermen. Um, 
But one thing we used to do, and this is, uh, like I said, we used to ride through the alleys and kick over people's trash cans. <laughs> that was about the extent of our juvenile delinquency. But if you recall, back then, trash cans were metal. Mm -hmm. They made a lot of noise, so we just thought we were tearing up. But like I said, when I look back on things now, Tasha, um, if that's the extent of our delinquency, that's, that's, that's not um, I went to public, private school for the first three years. Um, it's a school that's no longer um, uh, in existence. And um, my father became superintendent during my third grade year. And he just felt as though, you know, to be the leader of the school system, I've got to be in a public school. And uh, I was transferred to Mount Washington. And then I went on the fall staff mm -hmm. and on to Poly. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that track was, was great. I had a great fun. And my sister had the same track. But again, he just felt as though he can't represent the school system having his kids in private school. Okay, and in the neighborhood, who did you um, actually go to or attend school with, such as your college? Can you remember, did you attend with the Joneses or the, um, the, 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 the Beckhams, their children? Did well, you know? no, well the Beckhams did go to Poly, they were a little older than me, okay. so by the time I got there, I think still with the younger, the younger boy, uh -huh. he might have been graduating. Uh -huh. I do have a good friend named Martin, Martin B. King. And Martin's uh, father was the first black uh, accountant in the state of Maryland. He had an office on Pennsylvania Avenue. Mm -hmm. And Marty and I went to Poly together. We also went to College Park for four years. So I would consider him one of my best friends. I had another friend named Lee Martin on Linchester. He went to Carroll Hall, but he wanted to go to Poly. Mm -hmm. So we would always tease him, you know, okay. when, when are you graduating, you know, from, from Poly? Because he was always there, okay. you know. And so the reason why I was asking you um, about the Joneses and the Beckhams is because the Beckhams, um, who were interviewed, shared an awesome story. And I just want to know, did they ever drag you out, or did you ever go to Nutcracker Hill? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I wrote that down this morning. Uh -huh. And uh, and it's funny because I was trying to get to Hamlin Park. Back to the childhood. Uh -huh. Hamlin Park was so much fun. That's the reason why my father moved here. Uh -huh. He wanted. He was so happy at the park. Of course, Ashburton was an up-and-coming place at the time, and I could look at him when he would take us over, take me over there. I was going to play in the sandbox. That's all I wanted to do: get on the swings and get on the slide board. Um, and he was sitting on the bench with his cashmere coat and smoking his cigar. And I could tell he was just in a, he was in a really good place. But the Nutcracker Hill, oh my God! So it's a hill over in the park around the reservoir, um, and it's a hill that is very, very long. It has a hump in the middle. So when you would come down the hill, it would propel you off the hump into the air. And you would be in the air airborne for a long period of time. And when the sled finally came down, you would crack your nuts. <laughs> if I can say that. <laughs> I, I just I don't know a better way to say it, but but I can remember coming home uh, bloody face in pain, um, you know, my mother's like, what happened to you? So anyone who grew up in Ashburton knows about the Nutcracker over in Hamlin Park.